Look, guys, he's doing it. The most gorgeous. Gorgeous? Canal. <laughs> the most gorgeous, crispiest veg. You need to do it this way. Follow me. Good morning. This is the should be two pounds bought for 40p fruit salad. I'm just doing a little bit of editing and enjoying some breakfast in bed. Apparently I've been nominated this morning to do lunch. Lunch is gonna require this bad boy. A big fat homegrown courgette. Here are my ready steady cook ingredients. I've got the courgette from the garden. I've got some mushrooms. I've got the watercress that I bought yesterday, 26p. We've got the already diced onions that I bought for 20p. Got some gherkins. We've got some maize couscous that I got, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. We've got the veg medley left over from last night's tea. We've got homegrown garlic. This is only half of it. I need to get the other half out of the ground. I think from here I might just use the green beans for this. And then I have also got this sort of leftover pea and spinach pesto. There you go. Ready, steady, cook. Cut up the aubergine and scooped out the middle bit. Now I reckon what we need is some seasoning. That'll help draw out some of the moisture as well. Black pepper. Put it on 180 in the oven. I can't tell you how long it's going to take because I don't know yet. We're just going to keep checking it. This isn't a recipe that I'm using. I'm just ready steady cooking it. next job is to fry up what we're going to stuff it with while we're waiting for the saucepan to get warm i did measure out 150 ml of water but i don't think i'm going to bother measuring this i think i'll just eyeball that but i can hear this one sizzling we'll get this one going we just want to bring this one to the boil and we're going to start frying stuff in here onions that's actually quite a lot of onions. Oh, it's enough. Next up is the garlic. If you're not so much of a fan of garlic, put less in. But we love it, so in our house there's no such thing as too much garlic. And we're just going to fry that up until it's all gone, translucent and starting to brown. The onions are now nicely sautéed. This did come to the boil, but what I've realised is we're a little ahead of ourselves. They are not ready. So what I've done is I've turned the heat off here and off there and I'm gonna go and have a coffee while we wait. It is looking a lot more done so what I'm gonna do is turn the heat back on on this one and then what I did realize was that I'd forgotten to put the green beans in with the onions so I just stuck them in this water that was cooling just to blanch them very slightly. So I'm just going to turn the heat on there and just give these just a few minutes and then I'll put them in that pan and use this water for the couscous. I've also, while you've been gone, chopped up some gherkins and I've found a little tiny tiddly bit of mixed herbs in the bottom of there. So I'm going to stick that in the This one is now boiling, so it brings to the boil and remove from the heat. Add 150 grams of the maize couscous and stir, allow to stand for two minutes. So remove from the heat. I've just eyeballed how much to put in. And it says give it a stir. It really doesn't seem like enough water to me, so I'm not convinced. I've added the gherkins, I've added this pea and spinach hummus that I got yesterday off the reduced count. If you want this meal to be fully vegan, don't add this. But I don't want to waste it. Let's see how this is doing. We'll mix this up. 
and then once it's all mixed up we'll give it a taste and see if it needs any seasoning it doesn't look appealing but i suspect it's going to taste really good taste test <clears throat> that's pretty good needs a little bit of salt Filling done. Let's check these bad boys. Let's get a knife. Yep, done. Now what you want to do is just pierce right the way through. It lets all this excess water out. Just lets them drain a little bit. Time to plate up. There we have it. If you've got any leftover like this, just stick that in Tupperware. You can have it just by itself. I'm probably gonna have that for lunch tomorrow. Now, we enjoy. So what do you think? Bloody horrible. <laughs> gherkins are good in there. Hmm, that's actually a tip. Gherkins are a really good way of injecting a whole host of flavors into a vegan meal. I think in America, they might be called dill pickles we call them pickled gherkins and what were you saying earlier about the chilies and stuff you could blag it as a vegan chili con carne if you put a few chilies through it some, what you say kidney beans some it? kidney beans you, mm. it's got the right texture maybe a tin of tomato or maybe half a tin of tomato that's a really good idea that and you could still pack it into a courgette like this that would still work if it was a chili con carne, wouldn't it? Chili con zucchini. <laughs> Jarrett, you're in charge of tea, aren't you? What's the, what's the plan for tea? Nothing for a long time. I'm a bit full after that. <laughs> that was disgusting. <laughs> Mister, that's really big. I don't want that much. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. And you should have hear it, heard him complain. When I said I was making this, he was like, but I wanted a bacon sandwich. Two empty plates. It's got to be good. Right. Dinner next. <laughs> it looks like you, Anne, might be wimping out on making tea. Hi. Look, guys, he's doing it. The most gorgeous, crispiest veg. You need to do it this way. Follow me. Oven. First put it on all the way up, then turn it down to about 210, 200. This here has got extra virgin olive oil in and a little bit of vegetable oil just to keep the temperatures going. We're gonna whack this in now for 10 minutes. Come back to me. You hear that? Right, and what you do, you put these bits in first. This garlic here, in the skin will turn into like little little nuggets of goodness. Before you put them in, just give them a little shake and then season. But seasoning is the most important thing you have to do. Make sure it's open. Put these in first. Give them 15 minutes, then add the rest. So look at this. Let's have a look. Butternut squash, you've got your sweet potato, you've got your carrots. Right, so whack all that in. Make sure it all gets in to all the oil that's in there. And that garlic, as it's cooking down, will flavour the oil as well. So everything is going to be garlicky and good. This is something I've seen a little butcher do. A little <laughs> butcher, well, he's on. YouTube, I've seen him. What he does, he seems to season things from here and let it do that. <laughs> I hate him. It's a bit unnecessary, isn't it? It is a bit, but it's well seasoned, okay? Back in, another 15, 20 minutes. Amazing, is there anything going with the vegetables or is it just veg? Me. <laughs> We can whack some watercress on top. We can, there's some yes. tomatoes in there just to burst through the flavour. Yes, so. we can make like a roasted veg salad. Kitsuma. Hi, babes. Did you get my. Oh, you're still filming. 
I'm <laughs> running away. Go! <laughs> what are you up to, Katsuma? What are you up to, little one? Stop. Pause. Tell she her. thinks you're talking to her, not me. Not you. Tell her to stop filming. Tell her! Stop filming! <laughs> I think we're done. It's all ground up nicely. Yum. Yummy. Let's go. This is a vegan meal, guys. Even Katsuma's here. And she's like, what's going on, guys? There's no meat. Katsuma's always here. She's never far away. Oh, this is so tasty. Can you? Just me on that one. Just me on that one. You're gonna put that in, are you? <laughs> no, it's literally just you on that one. You're the only person that's liked them so far. One day, I'll look back on this period and feel sorry for myself that I didn't have any followers. But for now, that's not reality. But I will follow her everywhere. To be fair, any bloke that's not a vegan, put barbecue sauce or whatever they cook for you, it'll taste amazing, mate. That was your meal, babe. Mm, nice. That's what you asked for. Mm. And it was totally vegan. And gorgeous. It was absolutely, totally vegan. I left the cheese out. And for me, that is a big thing. What's your song? Do your song. Cheese is a kind of meat. Yellow, Yellow tasty, tasty meat. <laughs> If it's trademarked by Noel Fielding, I'm very sorry. Trademarked by Noel Fielding? Yep. Oh, is it from Mighty Boosh? Ah. Oh, apparently Noel Fielding has arranged for there to be a vegan week in the British Bake Off this year. I think that's really smart, smart because Bake Off has got a bit kind of samey samey. And in all honesty, if it wasn't a vegan week, I probably wouldn't be that bothered about watching it this year. But now I've found out there's going to be a vegan week, I'm totally in. We didn't put any watercress with it. We were going to put some salad and watercress with it, but we forgot, and now it's all gone. So any fella that actually crave fish and chips, if you had that with a bit of gherkins. Uh, or that with that tofu seaweedy thing, like a vegan fish and chip recipe. But for now, that is all that food gone. If you enjoyed this it's video, horrible. it's disgusting. <laughs> Poor sit down, you're such a hero. Of it. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe below. We'll be bringing you more what we eat in a day, more recipes, more general vlogs. Peace out. Peace out. We'll be bringing you more content just like this. <laughs>